Hey, what's up, Jonathan? This is James coming to you from the studios of Char- Alright, never mind. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be working with an image in Photoshop. So we're going to go to Bridge. Um, where do I have this? Not desktop. Okay, so here's our image, and I'm going to right click it and open it in Camera Raw. This is going to open up Photoshop. Right, this is the camera engine. I'm using 7.2 and this is a JPEG. So the options are going to be a little different than raw. So I actually like this image. It's a lot better than it sounded when I first heard about it. And I think it, it will be, it will turn out well if we do some basic edits. Now keep in mind that I'm I, I've never seen this in person, so I don't know how it's gonna how it actually looks So I'm gonna process it how I think will look good for the image Now understand there's a big difference between what you think Will look good artistically in an image and what a place actually looks like um, big difference there, so um yeah, consider that when post processing. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go with option one, what I think will look good. Um, but you can definitely change that, especially if you see what I'm doing and do some of this yourself. So let's get started. The first thing that I usually do is my go-to creative thingy. I'm gonna up the highlights. 15 or so and drops the shadows and I don't know this might be looking fake I think it's all right um this gets rid of a lot of a, a lot of the atmospheric distortion or rather pollution just like it happens a lot with the faraway scenes like there are just so many air molecules in between you and the mountains that they they're just a little faded and you know how that happens in life when like the farther mountains uh, are more faded but yeah so I'm gonna go with this and alright let's see so first thing I'm gonna do is add some saturation here and see these these parts are a lot different they're sunlit and they're really close so Let's see. All right, I'm going to add some saturation here. It's going to affect these. Now I'm going to go into the HSL settings and I'm going to, and here you can edit each individual color. So I'm going to try to bring out some of the reds in these mountains. So let's see here. Yeah, this is doing a little bit. And I think red's going to do a lot. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so here we've got a little more red in the mountains. Now, the next thing we're going to do is increase the vi- No, I'm not going to increase the vibrance. That looks a little fake, but it does look nice. But a little too fake for us. So, I'm going to increase the vibrance in the sky. And to do that, I'm going to use a little tool called the graduated filter. Press the key G to get to that. And I'm going to take- a filter. I'm going to hold down shift to straighten it. Wait, right there. Okay, and I'm going to just take a filter in the sky. And then I'm going to not exposure. I'm going to do plus saturation. And that I'm going to do like plus 50. And that is going to. Now we go back to our hand tool and undo that. Wait, what did we just do? I don't want any more exposure on saturation. What? I just want saturation. Alright, alright. So we got my graduated filter. Here we go. There we go. So as you can see, the sky is more saturated. So that's what I'm going to do there. Now, 
I think we've got most of this. We you can bring out a little bit in the highlights and the shadows here on the home, which is a little different than in here. This is more targeted. This is more general highlights and shadows. And wow, that's a lot. But no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave the shadows pretty big. But highlights. I don't know if this is doing much. Okay, so next I'm gonna. F I'm gonna. Um, okay. Planting the exposure and contrast now. Oh, th that's cool. But I'm guessing that's a little too far. Okay, so. Alright, there's our contrast. Now, those are just basic edits. You don't have to do all those. Now, the green tint you were talking about, I'm not sure because I wasn't there I'm not seeing it that much I just see some haze but what I'm gonna do what you can do is this tint slider in the white balance section um, and this can give you oh well, wow well, that's a lot but you can edit the tint this is more red going to more green so you can edit this I'm gonna leave this at zero zero okay and just a couple more basic things um generally when you're shooting landscapes with with ground and sky you generally want to emphasize either the sky or the ground and so since this sky doesn't have a lot in it i would usually I'm gonna go ahead and crop some of the sky out just because there's so much empty space up here. I think it would be a lot more interesting if we just emphasize the ground more. Now, generally you just shoot, when you're trying to emphasize the ground, you just shoot the ground with a little bit of sky and you'll see beach scenes shot like this with like a bunch of sand and like just the horizon up here. Or if you want to emphasize the clouds, uh, the sky, especially if it has a lot of clouds, then you can put the horizon down here. Um, generally, we don't shoot with the horizon in the middle, but we do sometimes. I mean, it's not bad. It's just whatever you want to emphasize. But I'm going to go ahead. Wait, not that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and crop it like. Don't constrain. No. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and crop it about here. Maybe we can make this 16-9 ratio, yeah. Alright, now how does this look? I'm, I'm kind of liking this. Because it, it brings us into the image more. And... It emphasizes the ground more. Now I'm going to just real quick correct this horizon. Um, It's pretty close, but you can just do this. Let's see if it's off at all with the horizon until it's key A on a PC and it's not really off enough to do anything. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Now one more thing you can do that I do a lot, generally not as much on landscapes, but wait lens corrections. Do we have a lens correction? No. Okay. One thing I do is add a vignette um, which would be like that. Now I usually don't do that on landscapes, and for this one, I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, I'm going to use the vignette. I'm going to use a slight vignette here, just to kind of add some creativity to the image. Um, I think it makes it um, a lot more interesting, just a basic vignette. I have it at negative 19. There you see the change. So I'm going to do that. Um, I generally don't do that with landscapes. I generally do that with up close shots and stuff. But this is, you, you can change this if you want. So yeah, this is what I'm doing here. Um, so what about done in camera raw? You can, this lets you sharpen our noise redu reduction. I don't really see a need for either of those. We can sh see if this needs a little sharpening. I don't think it does. But. I 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a little sharpening. Facebook notification. Yes, okay. Dude, Jamie Grace is coming to Pager Center with DC Fest, August 17th. I am there. Yes, okay. Um, back to real life. No, that is real life, but sorry. Yes, I'm definitely going. So, I'm, I'm about to on camera. So, what I'm gonna do is open this image up in Photoshop CS6. And what, and we're about done with this. I mean, we could definitely use this as you can see. But I'm gonna add a few more little changes just to show you what this can do. Um, so yeah, when you're adding adjustments in Photoshop, image adjustments, you've got basically two options. You can add it, you can do any of these. Like for example, brightness contrast, and I could up the brightness like that. Um, and make the photo horrible and do that and I would change the actual photo in there as you can see over here in background photo got changed now um, or you can add an adjustment layer layer new adjustment layer brightness contrast you name the layer and now you've got this these sliders here now I can up the contrast same level of ugliness but it's not affecting the original image. It's just affecting this layer, this adjustment layer. And if I turn the layer off, the image is fine. So if this is hiding the layer. So if I unhide the layer, so this is just an, an adjustment layer. And what it does, it allows you to edit the image without actually changing the image. So that's cool. So I use those a lot so I'm gonna actually edit this a little bit with some adjustment layers um let's see what do we have so wait I, I like to look at the adjustments so yeah one of my favorite tools is shadow shadow highlight now I love the no, no the default setting is bad but I love this tool specifically the highlight section now the shadows is just gonna bring out some detail in your shadows. I don't really ever use this because see it's my shadows are in my vignette and it's gonna bring try to bring those up. I don't really ever use shadows. Um I just never really need highlights on the other hand is a great tool for me a lot because it can really turn down your highlights and it's good at it. If you've got some blown out highlights, I mean, obviously not totally blown out, but if you got some bright highlights, this can really help you out. So, I don't know if I'm going to use it on this image, but as you can see, it's really powerful. So, do we need any? I like to, so I, when I adjust the slider, you, you've seen me doing this. I just adjust, adjust the slider, and then I hit Control Z to compare the changes. And for this image, I don't think we need it, but it is cool. Maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I think it brings out some more detail in the. Yeah, but it also creates less of the dramatic light, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, let's see, what do we have? That's about it. I usually don't do much image editing in Photoshop. Um, you can do black and white with all these options, which I think is pretty awesome. Let's see, you can control the reds. This is all each color. This is all just awesome Photoshopness. But, yeah. Anyway, um, what? I had one more thing. Oh, so I'm not going to do it here because this image doesn't really need it. You don't have sensor dust or anything. But you can heal and clone. You probably know these. 